Eight rappers you didn't know went broke. Hip hop artists are constantly pressured by both fans and peers to make bad decisions with their money. From buying supercars that depreciate the moment they're driven off the lot, to copying iced out watches that are only actually worth a tenth of what they paid. It seems like even the rappers who aren't very materialistic still can't help but fall into the money sink that is known as flexing. While there are some savvy rappers who put money to the side and invest, the reality is that most don't, and because of that they quickly run into financial problems. Whether it be getting evicted from their house, having their car towed, or even outright filing for bankruptcy, these eight rappers have had their bad spending habits catch up to them in the worst ways imaginable. Now, we can't be too harsh on these artists because a lot of them went from being broke to having a six or seven figure record deal, but it's still worth highlighting what not to do with your money. Before we start the video, make sure you click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number eight, Rich the Kid. By the way it looks, Rich the Kid is not someone who has money problems. I mean, his name is in fact Rich the Kid. He's had some huge hit records such as Plug Walk and New Freezer, featuring Kendrick Lamar, and his Instagram is flooded with pictures and videos of him flexing cars, jewelry, and money. Huh? What just dropped today, bro? Tell him, tell him. Okay. That's, that's 100,000. That's 100 bands right there. Pull walk out right now. Despite all of that, Rich has had a surprising amount of money problems in recent years. Back in 2017, the rapper had leased a 2016 model S600 Maybach, a car you might remember seeing in a viral video with him and Famous Dex. But he was sued by DPN Cars Corp for missing a $6,620 monthly payment on the luxury vehicle. Apparently, he didn't learn his lesson about making on-time payments, because this year he was sued by his landlord. Apparently, Rich rented a mansion in the Hollywood Hills, and he lived there throughout 2018 until he missed a December rent payment of $22,500. A lawsuit was filed by his landlord for the amount of $32,376, which included $2,500 in late fees and $7,000 in utilities. Number 7. Birdman Birdman is notorious for flexing his wealth in new, imaginative ways like buying an all-gold toilet, non-stop flying private, and buying jewelry. But it's not so entertaining when you realize how bad he is with money. We all know that time after time he's stiffed artists that were signed to cash money, T-Pain, Tyga, and of course Lil Wayne. After he settled his lawsuit with Lil Wayne for a reported eight-figure settlement, Birdman ran into some financial problems. On top of being sued by a former employee for $1 million, he started missing payments on his 20,000 square foot, $12 million Miami Beach mansion, which he had a mortgage on. To make things worse, he was also accused of taking expensive items from the property before he vacated it, resulting in another lawsuit being filed. Moral of the story, if you don't pay people what you owe them and live above your means, you're gonna have a bad time, even if you're a multi-millionaire whose record label has sold over a billion records. Number 6. Offset Offset is of course known for being one-third of the rap group Migos and husband to Cardi B. But besides that, he's famous for his over-the-top jewelry collection. He's got the Trap House chain, cartoon character Freakazoid, and the Raindrop piece. Now, you would imagine that he pays for all his jewelry in full, right? Well, as it turns out, a jewelry store just outside of Atlanta called Govan's Fine Jewelry filed a lawsuit against him for over $400,000. According to court documents, Offset had borrowed multiple pieces of jewelry from the store, including two tennis bracelets worth almost 200 k And after three months of them requesting payments, they had no choice but to sue him. That's not the only instance of Set not paying for expensive items, as he was also sued in 2018 for keeping over $11,000 worth of clothing that a stylist gave to him. According to them, he acknowledged that he owes the money, but refused to pay it. Whether or not these incidents are misunderstandings, it's still not a good look. Number 5. Tyga For someone who has had to sue Birdman just to get the money he's owed, you would think Tyga knows to pay people the money he owes them, but that's not the case at all. Not only has Tyga had a Ferrari, a Maybach, and a Land Rover repoed for missing monthly payments, but he's also been evicted from two California mansions for not paying his rent. All of these incidents have caused him to be sued more times than I can count on one hand. And that's not even considering when lawsuits were filed by multiple jewelers who alleged that Tyga failed to pay for jewelry 
jewelry that they gave him. Last year, it was revealed that he owed almost a million dollars to the IRS for taxes that he failed to pay since 2011, and that still hasn't been resolved. And while you think he would have smartened up with his finances by now, it was recently announced that he signed a lease for a 13,000 square foot home in the Santa Monica Mountains for $58,000 a month. Number 4. Young Thug most of you probably know about the Icebox Jewelry Store in Atlanta. Their YouTube channel has half a million subscribers, and they have videos with well-known names like Lil Pump, NLE Choppa, Trippy Red, and Lil Baby visiting their store and purchasing jewelry. Well, Young Thug was another customer of theirs until their relationship turned sour. In a lawsuit filed by the store, they claimed that they gave Thug over $200,000 in jewelry, with the expectation that he would pay it off soon. Apparently, Thug was only able to fork over $95,000. And eventually, Icebox had to sue him for the remainder of his balance, plus a quarter million dollars in punitive damages. His attorneys argued that Icebox's practices were predatory because they didn't actually agree on any payment plan, and because of that, the suit should be thrown out. Currently, it's still ongoing. To make matters worse, the Atlanta rapper recently learned the IRS was fining him $145,000 for failing to pay his 2014 and 2015 taxes, and that's on top of the 176 k he already owed. Number 3. Lil Yachty Lil Yachty is not someone you would expect to have money problems. He's had endorsement deals with some of the biggest brands in the world like Sprite, Target, and even Nautica. But like a lot of rappers, he had bad spending habits. It seems his self-proclaimed jewelry addiction has caught up to him though. It made headlines this month that Govins Fine Jewelry, a store outside of Atlanta, filed a lawsuit against Yachty, someone who they've been doing business with since 2017. Yes, Yachty actually got sued by the same jewelry store as his label mate Offset. He apparently ran up a tab of over $600,000 for multiple watches and diamond rings, but he only paid off a little more than half of what he owed, with a $233,000 balance still remaining. The store claims that a $70,000 check Yachty wrote bounced, and in text it was revealed that Yachty said, quote, if I had the money, I would give it to you, and that he recently had to trade in some of his jewelry. In an Instagram video, Yachty denied the allegations, and said that the jeweler was omitting a lot of the facts, and in some cases entirely fabricating the truth. Who knows who's actually telling the truth? And here's the thing, man. Since you want to talk about it, let's talk about it, man. I paid John over $900,000 and I got receipts because I don't carry cash. I pay everything with, with credit and um, checks. You know what I'm saying? Number two. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is someone who a lot of people consider to be one of the greatest rappers of all time, but he's had his fair share of financial trouble throughout his 20-year career. Back in 2014, he faced a lawsuit from a private jet company who claimed that he owed a million dollars in missed payments for a jet he leased from them. In more recent history though, it was revealed that Wayne owed the IRS over $12 million for unpaid taxes. It's claimed that he owed $6.8 million for the year of 2011 and $7.3 million for the year of 2012. A lot of people don't know this because Wayne stayed pretty quiet about it. And I guess that's the right move because you do not want to make the IRS mad. Last March, he finally got the whole situation squared away and paid off over $14 million that he owed. But he didn't do it all by himself. Apparently, Jay-Z was a big help in getting the IRS debacle taken care of, but it's unknown how. Whether he just gave Wayne some cash to pay the debt off, or he has some connects in the IRS and pulled some strings, it's still commendable and shows why Jay is so respected in hip-hop. Number 1. 50 Cent Besides being one of the best rappers of all time and a ruthless Instagram troll, 50 Cent is also one of hip-hop's biggest flexors. He once uploaded a video to his YouTube channel in which he fills the trunk with over $2 million. That's why it came as such a surprise to everyone when he filed for bankruptcy back in 2015. I mean, he has made some great moves, like investing in vitamin water. So how is it he's filing for bankruptcy? Well, it was more of a tactic to try to lower or even completely avoid paying multiple people who were suing him, Sleek Audio and Rick Ross's baby mama being two of them. The bankruptcy case came to an end in 2016, when 50 and his legal team agreed to pay out over $23 million over the next five years to people who filed lawsuits against him. By my calculations, that's over $350,000 a month, so I can assume he has much less money sitting around to burn. Hopefully this video taught you something about what not to do with your money. Did we miss anyone? Disagree with any of the entries on the list? Leave a comment below, but make sure you don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel.